In this video, I'd like to show you how to embed a Pear Deck presentation in, say, an LMS. I'm going to use Canvas LMS, but as long as you can paste HTML code, you could paste it wherever you want to. Uh, so, I am going to uh, now. By the way, if you're going to just run a live presentation and interact with your students. Um, in live time, uh, then this really isn't the video for you because you could just tell them to go to joinpd.com and follow along as you present. Now, this is if you want them to, if you want this to be a student paced presentation, you want to be able to embed it and just have them do it uh, in their own time, then this is definitely the video for you. So, I already have a presentation created in Google Slides and I've already opened Pear Deck. So I'm going to start the lesson. Again, I'm not going to do instructor paste. I'm going to do student paste. So I'm going to click on student paste. Give it a second to launch. It's going to give me a link. Right? So I'm just going to copy the link. Copied. Now I need to actually search for an iframe generator. So when I Google iframe generator, it brings up, this is the one I tend to use all the time, but you can see there's tons of them. It'll just, I mean, look at this, it's almost 9 million of them. So pick your favorite, but I tend to go with the one literally called iframe-generator. Right here where it says iframe URL, I'm going to paste, and I'm now going to generate, and it gives me this HTML code. So I'm going to copy it. Now I'm ready to paste that code anywhere that accepts HTML code. I'm going to go over to Canvas, and uh, I've already created a page to embed this. I need to make sure that I'm in the HTML editor, otherwise I'm just going to paste text, just gibberish. So let me go to the HTML editor, let me paste, I can go back over, and you can see it's in there. It's a little small, right? So let me go back. And uh, we can see here the width and the height. I tend to just double both numbers. And I find that that works pretty well. That's the size that I think works really well. I, I could even make it larger if, if I needed to. I'm going to go ahead and save. All right, so now we have a live student uh, paste uh, activity for them. And they can just go through. They can adjust draw it's going to still save it in my Google Drive I'll have everything that I need and they can be showing that's nice they can be showing uh, their work on math problems and it's not beautiful but you know in this time I'm gonna take what I can get so there you go if they left and came back as long as I haven't closed my presentation then their work will still be um, here and and they can move on to the next problem so that's nice and convenient and again is save it to your Google Drive and you can see their work all right I hope that uh, hope that helps and uh, if you have any questions please uh, just leave them in the comments thanks for watching